Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about a new arcade core, Taki Udon's DE10 Nano Alternative, my review on the QM Tech DE10 Nano Clone, Tap 2 updates, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Addons, a place where you can get all your Mr. Knees. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. The Psychic 5 core that was developed by Racky is now part of the official Mr. Repository. For users, this means that the core will download from the official Mr. Repository instead of an external one. If you use the update all script to update your Mr., then you will already have this core, and nothing will really change for you. Now the official update script will also obtain this core. The Gollum FPGA project will be rebranded in the future as One FPGA, and there are now dedicated forums for it. The forum will likely become the place where news and updates will be posted. This is what the Gollum FPGA project is. Gollum wants to be a replacement for the Mr. firmware, achieving the same emulation capabilities, but with a better code base, more maintainable, and an easier user-focused interface. There are some early releases already for this project, so you can head over to the GitHub to try it out. Ronnie Snice has showed off a whole bunch of awesome wallpapers for the Mr. FPGA. Here's what's been revealed. There's wallpapers for Shining Force, Fantasy Star 3, Bare Knuckle, Super Thunderblade, E-SWAT, Altered Beast, Super Metroid, and there's a wallpaper for sending light gun owners. If you would like to support Ronnie's work, you can do so on Patreon. Mr. Multisystem owners, which also includes owners of the marsupial Mr. FPGA Multisystem, now have the option to purchase a snack cartridge for PlayStation 1 controllers. The cartridge also includes an RCA port for light guns. The cartridge can be purchased online for £30. Taki Udon showed off what the packaging will look like for the upcoming Mr. FPGA IO board and USB board accessories. It looks like it will have a Sega Master System aesthetic, which I really like. No updated packaging for the DE10 Nano Alternative has been shown, but if you don't remember what was first shown, here's how the packaging looks like. I don't think it was finalized, so any updated packaging may look wildly different. Taki also said that the blank FPGA boards are in the testing phase. After that, they need to be cut, quality controlled, and then shipped off to the SMT factory to get all the components mounted. There was also an update on what the base packaging for the DE10 Nano Alternative will include. Its contents will be the FPGA board, a Type-C cable, acrylic cover, and a fan board which is said to be something like an I.O. board just without any I.O. There is also now final pricing for the DE10 Nano Alternative and accessories. Naming of the board is also unclear. Taki is just calling it Mr. for now, but I don't know if that's a temporary name or if it's the final name. Anyway, the Mr. Board Plus fan will be under $99. The Mr. Board fan and 128 megabyte SD RAM will be under $115. The Mr. Board RAM 15 watt power brick, USB hub and analog I.O. board will be $160. The USB hub analog I.O. boards will also be available to purchase individually. That is some really good pricing especially since the official DE10 Nano on its own is $225. Taki also said that if you miss a chance to buy a board during the first batch, the second batch will launch roughly one month later. The third batch will be a little more than a month after that one. They will try to restock each month from that point onward. It was also said that batch one will only be for sale on the company website. Batch two may also be on AliExpress, but they are not sure yet. The company website so far has not been revealed. And some quick info has been given about the dedicated Mr. Consoles. Research and development is being done on the flagship right now. They are waiting for an important part to come from a supplier early next week. The handheld research and development will follow after a working flagship unit is available to showcase. Over the weekend, I posted a review of the DE10 Nano clone from QM Tech. I go over things like compatibility, build quality, features, and more. 
If you have any interest in getting a cheaper DE10 Nano alternative, check out my video to see if this board is for you. You can see what's good and what's bad about this board. Hotego has released a brand new beta core. It's called JT Riders and the first game that it runs is the Konami arcade classic Sunset Riders, a game I've been waiting for to come to Mr. Hotego says that the game was challenging to get up and running due to its protection. The full technical details regarding the development are in the Patreon post. Support for the two-player version of Sunset Riders will be released in the future, together with some graphic fixes needed for the second boss fight. Since this core is in beta, it is only available for Patreon subscribers, but once the core is out of beta, everyone will be able to obtain it for free. Hotego's team was also busy with other tasks. Graphics for Alien Storm have been restored after the regression introduced with the Moonwalker release. WWF Superstar schematics are now about 30% complete. The Simpsons default configuration has been set to play the opening theme. Hotego's team is also on holiday next week, so there will be no update on the 2nd of August. I hope everyone on the team has an awesome holiday and I thank them for all their hard work. Unofficial Send and Light Gun support was added to the Mr. FPGA a couple of weeks ago. The process to set it up is now easier and Retro RGB did a live stream going through the process and testing out some games. The Retro RGB blog post also has the details of getting it set up, so Send and Light Gun owners should check it out. If you also use the TapDo project, then you will want to update to the latest version. A fix was pushed that will tell Tab2 to ignore any connected Send and Light Guns so they won't interfere with each other anymore. Wizzo released the model for the USB-C Tab2 reader case on principles. The design was released for free for personal use. The info for the NFC module that is compatible with this case can also be found on the Tab2 wiki. Wizzo also posted some samples of PCB Tab2 cards made by the Train24. These are custom PCBs with labels and NFC stickers attached. Being real PCBs, they give you a real authentic look, giving me some TurboGrafx Hue card and Atari Lynx card vibes. If you want to try to make your own, the Train24 wrote a guide on the Tab2 wiki. Aureo Asus also has some new Tab2 NFC card designs. There's a revised Sega Saturn design with a new back. And to reiterate, if you're a Send and Light Gun owner, you want to update to the latest version of Tab2. An issue where Tab2 and Send and Light Guns will interfere with each other is now fixed. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Swords, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.